sorry folks we ran out of time on that last one but what we're working on was getting all this rough stuff off and the most important thing is to keep these things on here so what we're going to do is we're just going to put a stop cut not real deep but we're just going to follow those lines out first and we know exactly where they belong later on just like that all right so now we can shave all that off and uh, like I was saying before you can do it on a band on a um, belt sander but um, I find that a belt sander doesn't always get it off like you should I like to take it off with a knife um, it helps um, it's not that you can't do it with that but I'd rather do it with a knife than I can get it down deep enough sometimes you can just see hairline of it yet so so that's why we didn't want to go all the way to the end because you want to clean this up and you know if you want to take all this off before you draw your pattern on you can do that as well um, you see how those little lines are still on there we're going to go a little deeper okay perfect and you've got to see how the grain is running when you do this you know that was going against the grain that's why it wasn't working so well Sometimes I can't always tell until I feel that nice pull and tug in there. But it's okay to chop some of this off. You know, it's fine. There isn't a whole lot on here to break off unless you snap something off at the top. Or, you know, because the grain's running this way. The yeah, most delicate spot, I would say, is up at the top of the head. Um... Okay, so see where we still have our lines in there? Perfect. So that will work. So we're going to just round this up just a tad more. Okay. And round this off a little bit more. We're going to be burning this in a little bit here. Uh, a couple segments yet. See, I still see lines from the band, so I'm going to try to chop some of that off yet. Because later on, if you put your put your um, all your feathering on, you still have those lines on. They'll show up when you when you paint. So just be really mindful of that when you're doing this project. See, I've got to go the other way for that. Okay, that's all right. Those lines can be wreak havoc when you start painting. Okay, so. You know, when you cut this thing on a bandsaw, it's not completely flat anyway, so, you know, we'll redo that neck a little bit like we did before. Let's just go up a little bit. Just like so. Because that has a little more distinction of its own. We'll do it pretty well close to what we have there. Now let me see if there's any lines that I see. Just one there yet. See right here? I don't know if you can see that little white line there. We're going to see if we can chop that out. See? I got rid of that one. A little bit there yet. So we're good to go on the other. So what we're going to do now is we're going to... Um, what we have here is uh, the fluffy part being over the feathering. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the stop cut where we... we or what we did before. We're going to follow that line out again, just like so. And then we're going to cut it from this side over, just like so. Now, folks, I'm not fond of gouges and things like that, but you can if you want. Um, it's uh, totally up to you. If you want to get a little, uh, little ones, that's fine, like this. I'll show you how this works. Um, I think I have a little, little wider one somewhere. I thought I did. Hang on just a second. Maybe it's in my box. Yeah, it's in my box. I don't use it real often, but I do use it occasionally. Um, this this one it has a little bit of a curvature to it, as you can see. See how shiny that is? So it's uh, they're harder to sharpen. Um, they're not my most favorite thing in the world, but. Um, 
some people absolutely love doing it with gouges and and uh, that I like strictly a knife because then you can take it anywhere you want you're not see how if I have a longer blade I can do this as well but you can also use a small blade like this and get in there I always find these are a little more difficult to, to use some people absolutely love it it's all what you prefer to work with so you can use one of these if you like and uh, there's another one I have here I can't find it right now um, that works a little better than that and has a uh, bit of a slant to it but I'm a knife person for sure and um, I like sharpening the knives and I like you know messing with them making them work for what I need them to do you know and I got some neat tips from the um, from the carving show that I came up with some neat ideas with sharpening and some different things I hadn't thought of before it doesn't matter how long you've been carving and I've been carving 28 years now um, you can always learn something new if something improved or whatever it might be so we're gonna do that and what we're gonna do we're gonna round this off a little bit so make sure you have a very sharp knife and just round that off and we're gonna go back and we're gonna sand everything before too long um, especially before we put the um, the other feathers on but like I said you can use that we have a couple of things that we use for sanding um, I'll give you an idea I saw these at the show they wanted a dollar a piece for these you can get a pack I think a four or five for a dollar at the dollar store so save yourself some money um, the only thing with theirs it was it was shorter or thinner at the end you can take a pair of scissors and and cut them any shape or size that you need this one is just a, a block it's a foamy as you can see um, it works really well to get into crevices with that little bit of a point you know when you go to sand um, you know we're gonna I'm gonna dig this out a little deeper and make and round off both of those edges and then we'll start down here a little bit later and on our next segment okay we'll be back